There he goes. Ready? One, two. Yeah. They bite your fingers. All right, buddy. And they're going to paint my humongous logo right here. Here's Fluffy right here. And he's absolutely amazing. Hey, Fluffy. How you doing, buddy? So there you go. So hold that right there for me. Bend it up. There you go. Here you go, Lola. All right, I'll be back there. She told me just to go hurry real quick. Yep. Yep. What is going on, Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch? Welcome back to the ranch, you guys. We are here inside of my beautiful building. There's absolutely nothing in here yet, but that's because I am really taking my time on this project here and I wanna make sure it's exactly how I want it to be done. But um, I'm gonna update you guys a little bit on things that's happening here right now. It's gonna be a full update video here on the ranch because you guys have been seeing, we've been traveling everywhere and it's only been a little bit of things here at the ranch. So first off, we got all the insulation done. This whole building is solid and ready to go. It is um, really, really good here. I'll help you out. Hey, Missy, back up. Yeah, emus are freaking massive. Look at this, look at this. Watch my finger, watch my finger. He doesn't want my finger. There he goes, ready, one, two. Yeah, they bite your fingers. All right, buddy, you be good. They, got, they became very, very calm and tame now. They're pretty awesome. But anyways, insulation's completely done. It's like fire resistant, it's really, really solid. The whole top is done, so we can film in here and we'll see it out during raining times and things of that sort. Second thing that's about to get done is I'm gonna have an artist come through and they're gonna paint my humongous logo right here. And we're gonna be putting all different types of fish designs, maybe fly river turtles, all different types of things are gonna be going there. It's gonna be absolutely insane. <laughs> and then, and then, Emus are crazy, they just jump around everywhere. And then on top of that, I saw a really, really cool idea. A lot of people do a garage, uh, like um, sparkly things on the bottom of their, uh, I mean, what do you say, the, gar the garage on the concrete, it's really, really cool. But I saw a really, really cool, better idea, some like, epoxy kind of thing, and it's gonna look like marble. I really think I'm gonna do that really, really soon. I'll be getting some quotes on that as well. A lot of different updates happening here, but I wanna, the reason why I'm doing all these things now before the animals come in is because once the animals come in, I won't be able to do that because the toxins and things of that sort won't be good for the fish and the fish tanks and everything out here. So I want to get everything done first. Electricity is coming in about a week or two. Fans are coming. Exhaust fans are coming. Generators are coming. This building is going to be top notch here on the ranch. Um, really taking my time on it and making sure I'm just making it exactly how I want it to be because I don't want to do it two times. I want to get it done one time and one time only. But yeah, so what today's video is gonna be about, I have really no idea. I don't even know what the thumbnail or title is gonna be yet. You guys will find out when you guys click on it, you're gonna wanna see what this video is. Anyways. <laughs> that you, um, you had, you, you, you could, you do, you, you want, you, you could do so, you, you do, you could, you. So. Today, the goats, it is their second round of getting dewormed here on the ranch. I deworm them every couple months here on, uh, on the ranch in South Florida. It is really, really raining here a lot right now. It's summertime, and because of that, there's a lot of mosquitoes, there's a lot of worms, the ground is wet, and they, they could carry, they could get worms and parasites very, very quickly. So pretty much my mom is getting that set up right now. I already told all the calculations and everything. And we're gonna go over there and we're gonna deworm all the goats, the donkeys and everything. Gatelina, I haven't gotten her a blood test yet, but I know and I've seen Gatelina pregnant before and all the signs that she is showing me right now is that she is pregnant. So as of right now, I'm really like 95% sure she's pregnant. So I don't know when the date was, I don't know exactly when it is, but I'm just gonna keep a really good close eye on her and Stay tuned for a baby, a baby donkey. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. I've had one in here on the ranch probably around three, four years ago, but um, she's gonna have another one soon. So let's get this bread, let's get some of these um, uh, medications and dewarm these goats. And then I'm gonna walk you guys around a little bit and show you guys a little bit more things before the bread comes out. So let's go, I mean, uh, let's go look somewhere else. So I have these massive gates as well, getting built all around the ranch. These things are absolutely Massive. I mean, they're solid six foot gates all to the exact size that I need. They're getting placed everywhere on the property. Just little by little, one of my buddies, Bobby's making these beautiful gates, but um, another little update. I'm just trying to get the property to look really, really good for the visual eye for you guys to see through the lens so it looks beautiful. I know that some people are like, oh, your place is a trash hole and things of that sort. Before, before I showed people things on YouTube, I used to just make sure my animals are happy, healthy, and taken care of and able to breed and pretty much be happy. I didn't care what the enclosures looked like. As long as they were happy, I was happy. But now that I'm showing you guys what I have here on the ranch, I wanna make it look beautiful in both ways. So that's what I'm doing, spending my money on all different kinds of things. But uh, let's go look at the capybaras, you guys. All right, you guys, so actually I wanted to show you guys my skunk, Fluffy. He is doing absolutely great. Many people are like, oh, he's gonna get out. Oh, he's gonna climb out. Oh, this, oh, that. Um, he's doing great. Here's Fluffy right here. 
and he's absolutely amazing. Hey, Fluffy, how are you doing, buddy? You doing good? You doing good, buddy? Yeah, you are. You're doing good. All right. Yep, so that's a little update on Fluffy. He's doing an absolutely good time here. All his hair that was actually uh, coming off grew all back. All his mats and everything I cleaned up on is doing great. I'm sorry about the noise. Our neighbor's cutting grass, but, you know, that's the part of living in a rural area that there's people with uh, other houses. But, oh, uh, yep, look at Fluffy. You all right, Fluffy? Look at those teeth and those claws. He's a good boy. Good boy. Look at that little guy. But he's doing great. He goes in that little house over there. We give him fresh hay every once a week, and he just sleeps in his little house. He has water. He has food. We feed him every afternoon, and he's doing great. He uh, destroyed all the plants and everything in that here, and just, I guess he doesn't like these weeds. I don't know. I guess I'm, I don't know. I don't know. He's freaking awesome. He's pretty cool. But uh, he's living his best life here, and there's Fluffy. Let's go look at the capybaras. Guys, so the emus are right here, and Missy's on the other side of the gate. Missy's a very, very territorial goose. They're from Australia, and they're really, really aggressive. She is completely matured. Pink legs, nice lime green beak. She's already making her pig noises because their nicknames is called a pig goose because they make pig sounds. Really, really awesome animal. And she's just right here. I don't know if you can hear it. What you want, Missy? No. She's making a honking sound now. It's really, really awesome. It's a pig noises. But um, let's walk over here and I'm gonna go show you guys the capybaras. The grass has went down a lot because they've been eating a lot too. But uh, let's go look at the cappies. Good, Missy? Huh? What's going on, girl? See those pink legs, you guys? Absolutely beautiful. Pretty, pretty cool. All right, let's go over here. Pond is completely filled to the top. It is absolutely great. All the fish, turtles are doing A1. Um, let's see where these guys are at. So here they are right here. What are you guys doing over here? You guys good? So this is one of their favorite spots that thing one and thing two like to be. They like this spot over here, hiding underneath this oak tree. It's nice and shady and chill. They obviously just took a bath. They're really, really wet, and you can see all the bubbles inside the water. These guys are like little hippos. They dive down, and they swim, and they play like hide and seek with each other. One will be on the other side of the pond, and then the male will come from behind and like bite her in the butt, and then they jump and jump. It's hilarious. It's so, so cool. I'm Hopefully, I could get some of that on footage. Maybe I could put some like, I don't know, maybe I could put some like cameras or like something around here so we could get some awesome footage of them. But they're absolutely living their best life. They're growing good. They're eating good. And capybaras are doing really, really good. Um, but yeah, let's uh, get that bread and stuff, like I said. What the heck? I don't know if you guys can see. If you look all the way through that to the second fence, Moors is inside the water over there just hanging out, cooling down. That's been really hot here in South Florida. That's why I don't have a shirt on. But um, yeah, these are just little updates here on the ranch. Just showing you guys everything that's been happening. And everything is doing really, really good. I hope you guys are enjoying this video right now. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys have any ideas or any questions, put it down below in the comments, positive comment, things of that sort. And I'll shout you guys out. I'll answer questions as well. Maybe start answering some questions that people think we should do. You think that, Dylan? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't question know. Question and answer. Question and answer, some things like that. I'm thinking about even doing a video like that very soon. If you guys think I should do that, like this video. And with any questions that are on there that gets the most likes that you guys like, I'm going to answer that question. So whatever question you guys see that has the most likes, I'm going to answer that question. But, um... Let's go over there and do these goats and uh, what you want to call it, deworm them all so they're all nice and healthy and good from all this summer rain. So let's do it. All right, you guys. So this is a main pathway for me that I use every single day to go around the barn to the other enclosures around the ranch. So this right here, it is absolutely disgusting. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my concrete guy come back out here and I'm going to have concrete get laid all here so we have a nice, beautiful sidewalk to get into the enclosure enclosure without a problem. Do you guys see this mud hole right here? Disgusting. It's been raining a lot. It happens. It's part of a ranch, but I want to end all that and I want to finish all that And then what I'm gonna do is because this building is so so big the water just rains off to the side So what I'm gonna do is put a gutter on there and pretty much save my water So the water is gonna go into a real big uh, vasca uh, like bowl kind of thing and be used to do uh, water changes for the tanks inside I have so many different amazing ideas. I'm gonna put together here It's gonna be absolutely insane to do all this stuff here because you guys see it's about to rain right now and that building collects so much water that just gets thrown off to the side and it would not be able to get used. But if I could collect it and use it for the animals, that's perfect. So that's what I'm going to start doing too. All right, you guys. So we're here where the goats have to be fed. My sister's going to help me pretty much keep track on making sure everybody gets the right deworming and everything. Everybody's going to be getting one cc of this type of medication that is right here in my hand. So the easiest and most simplest way 
for me to dewarm these animals is pretty much using bread. They love bread, it's a treat, and it's the best way to dewarm because I put a little teeny bit on top of the bread and they think they're just getting bread for food. They have no idea that they're getting dewormed at the same exact time. So Cassandra just gave me like half pieces of squares and obviously I guess the first one we're gonna do is Lola and uh, macaroon that's right there. So what we do is just get a little teeny bit. Um, hold on, one sec. All right, let me see where I'm going. So right there. There you go, so hold that right there for me. Let it sit for one second, bend it up. There you go. Here you go, Lola. All done. And she didn't like that one too much. Alrighty. She kind of tasted it. Good one. She got a little bit of it. I'm gonna give her another piece. Just so to be safe. But um, yeah. So that's what pretty much the whole process is gonna do. We're gonna speed it up, and everybody here has to get room. There's 12 does here, and we have two males to do. So yeah, let's do it. Let's try to get this girl right here, Macaroon's daughter. All done, perfect. So look at that, they have no idea. They get done just like that. All done, easy, simple. Most easiest way, you don't have to chase your animals around. So like if you guys have animals like this, that's what you do with dogs. So dogs, you can use like a little bit of cheese or something to put it in there. Uh, the goats, bread is a simple, easy way. The emus, I put it inside of a grape. It's simple, easy little ways just to have quick techniques so that you don't have to stress out your animals by chasing them down and things of that sort. So that one's good right there. So hold that right there. And I'm gonna try to give this one. So I'm gonna go inside right now and I'm just gonna go in there and give it to the younger ones. So let's see who's gonna be able to grab real quick. Okay, right there. Come here, come here. So there you go, look at that. Right there inside Snickers' mouth. Dewarmed, ready to go. All right, Sam, let me get the little bottle of uh, medication and let's fill it back up. It's right behind you. Simple, easy. I'm not gonna chase the animals because they just have no idea. Look, you want some? Don't worry, you're gonna get dewarmed right now, Missy. Got you. Ow, chickens. The chickens are trying to grab the bread from them. All right, that's Sunshine's daughter, so we gotta do Cupcake's daughter, because she walked over there. Lola, we probably have to get one more time. She's done, she's done. That Everybody's done right here. She's done, bad. she's done. That small one right there has to get done. Let's do that one. So I just put the antibiotics for the dewarmer on side of this, this big piece of bread right here, making a little sandwich right here, and Moors is gonna get a nice sandwich with dewarmer right here. Moors, hey! All gone. Simple as that, right down the throat. She's done. Everybody is here and dewarmed, and I am getting a phone call real quick, so let me answer this. And it's my mom, hello. All right, so I'm gonna go deal with this, and I will be back, you guys, one sec. All right, I'll be back, she told me just to go hurry real quick. Yep, yep. Should I, should I close it? Um, it, he left the gate open. I know, I'm gonna call him real quick. Oh uh, yeah, please. Oh boy. Uh, uh, hello? You guys, come on. Uh, come on, you guys. All the goats got out, and I, me and Dylan can put them in, so like you gotta come back. Oh, Blake. Now. Come on, guys. Come on, Snicks. Oh boy. Hurry up! What the heck did you do? Us? You're supposed to close the gate behind me. You always know to do that. Yeah, yeah. They're eating all the avocados, eating all the treats. Well, I guess it's okay that they're out for a few seconds, but uh, you're gonna help me get them back in because it's always fun to get these guys back in. So, yeah, um, quite a few. Yeah, quite a few. The grass is kind of tall, so I guess low key. You got one piece of bread? All right, go over there see if they listen to you. Let's see if they listen to you or the avocado tree. Let's see what happens here. Oh my God, they're actually listening. Look at that. The go herder over here. Lola's like, yeah, right. I want the avocados. All right, you guys. All right, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Look at that big girl, Kathy, with a big old belly. Nice and prego. Good girls, you guys. Well, that wasn't too bad. They escape sometimes, but they're really, really 
trained Loki, except the spoiled ones, like these guys right here. Come on. They go right back in. All right, well, it wasn't that bad after all. Could have been a lot worse. Way back in the day, when I first started getting them, remember when they used to run out to the streets? That was a disaster. Disasters. They used to get out there because I didn't have the right gates, things that store. I was just learning how to be a rancher or a farmer, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, but obviously the animals are a lot more trained. We got a lot done today. You guys saw the updates of all different kinds of things that we got done here. Um, this is pretty much what happens every day here at the ranch, you guys. My sister helps me out when she wants to help me out sometimes. Good job. Appreciate it. I'll see you later. There you go, buddy. All right, so she's out of here. But uh, give this video a thumbs up, you guys. It's a hot South Florida day. I have some really, really phony videos coming soon. Appreciate it. We're going to be doing some water sport kind of ideas coming here on the ranch coming soon. Uh, keep those post notifications on, you guys, because always different things happening here. I like to have fun things, educational things, and updates all the time. That barn is going to have some insane stuff coming very, very soon. And I will see you guys later, everybody. All right? Peace out.